Hey everyone, it's Lady G, and I just want to get on here to share with you um, something the Holy Spirit told me to ask of him. And he said, daughter, ask me to heal your wounded soul. And I said, excuse me? He said, ask me to heal your wounded soul. I mean, people, let's be honest. And the, like maybe like the last five years or so, it has been nothing but maybe like hell on wheels, like to be honest. Like it's been one thing after other. If it's not been with you and your body and your finances, then it's your children. It, it could be your business, maybe your spouse and, you know, then back the cycle back all over again and, you know, or the job. It's just been so much that has been going on and he just was letting me know that you have gone from trial to trial from victory to victory from tribulation to tribulation from triumphant to triumphant however there has been no solace and no rest for your soul so your soul is still in the posture of warfare and he said, ask me to heal your wounded soul. Yes, we're moving on. Yes, we're progressing. Yes, we're moving forward. No, we haven't turned back on God. Some have, um, you know, on his people. Some have, um, but for the most part, you just keep going and you're going wounded. And he said, ask me to heal your wounded soul so that, um, we can be made whole. He asked the the sick man he said will thou be made whole will you be made whole and your answer is yes lord of course i want to be made whole and i want to be made complete but i mean even there are pastors and ministers and elders you know who are serving in the lord's church so many have gone through battles and warfares that cannot even be utterly expressed out of their mouth about what they have gone through and been through um, and still possibly going through. But I just want to share with you uh, the prayer that the Holy Spirit told me to ask of him is, Lord, please heal my wounded soul. And I'm going to tell you all something. He is a keeper of his word. He will restore you like nobody else can about to get up and sight up in here he will restore those dry and thirsty places those bullet holes that no one else can see but you can feel you can't articulate it you put the face on and you keep moving on with life but in those dark times in those areas when the inner voices are speaking your wounded soul is crying out and speaking someone heal me someone help me I can't go on like this and many people thinking it's them and it's their will but it's the wounded soul that is crying out to the Lord for restoration and for helping to be made whole and to be made complete so I would encourage you I'm telling you because on the other side of victory on the other side I would just say on the other side there's victory and there's healness and there's wholeness and there's restoration and there's life. And then that's when the living waters can just come bursting out you and you can just go and help your fellow man. Because, say, you know, when you are good and you have been converted, go and convert your brother and your sister. You can't convert nobody and you're wounded. You can't. Mm -mm, no. But when you're healed, you're whole and you're healthy, you're like the woman at the well. Come see a man who told me all about myself. So I just want to encourage everyone out there that if you have been through um, any type of battles and tribulations and trials, as we all have, ask the Father on today and continuously make this a prayer until you see the manifestation in your life. Father, heal my wounded soul. Amen.